Back to our regularly scheduled time, Thursday, January 5th. One day away from the great anniversary, American anniversary, January 6th. We are in the year 2023, and we are back. This should be about talking about Correct. numbers. Oh, boy. Is this going to be how the year goes? <laughs> it's going be. I'm Maron. One, two, three. All right. Let's get things straight. Five. We are back. The Trinity's here. We, last time we were here, we were all here, right? There was that weird... Uh, there was okay. no Vic. Vicless. No, was we there Vic Vicless? Was I Vicless one time? We're, well, we're, let's just... Dis- I don't remember. Dis- there was the Christmas special. I was here for that. That was the last thing we did. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, so I was here for it. I didn't miss anything. Christmas semi-special. Anyway, anyway good horning. Oh, yeah. uh, anyways, D- DJ, DJ, DJ Doug Pound is here. Try that again. Good horning. Vic Berger the fourth. What's up, everybody? <laughs> That's really that. That that. I practiced that, that this morning a little bit. Sucked. You practiced it, huh? Mm-hmm. In it? my head, in my head, but I didn't actually do it. <laughs> so. uh, Captain Carlin is down under. What time is it down under? You know, just seeing you, you, Vic. Oh, I'm trying to think. I, <laughs> I have no idea. And he's just like looking out. Uh, uh, 10, 10 p.m. It is. Captain Carlin, it's, it's 10 p.m. Maybe he's watching. You know where your children he's been are. off the grid. He's down there looking at the Sydney Opera House and everything. He's and in the bush. He's in the bush in uh, the it's, outback. It's 5.02 a.m. Okay. <laughs> so he's not watching. Yeah, he's not up. He's having a walkabout. <laughs> His wife announced last year they were going to Australia for like three weeks. It's like, man, there's shit going on here, bro. It's about work. It's not about having fun. It's about working and doing the best job we can do. But we're going to carry on with Brett. Brett Brett. from Forever Dog is here. Hey, glad to be here, guys. Glad to be here. What a fresh breath of fresh air you are. (laughs) Thank you. To be here. A Brett of fresh air. Brett of fresh air. (laughs) And in the studio, we shall not delay any longer. We shall not procrastinate this or prolong his introduction. One of the great. Wow. One of the great. An absolute legend, an icon, certainly, and I, I hope you don't, this doesn't make you feel old or anything. It should. It's one of my foundational comedy heroes. Wow. I'm, uh, are you, I, uh, that's, I'm Emo very... Philip, no. Uh, uh, please Bob... welcome, <laughs> back from the grave, Gilbert Godfrey. Gilbert. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. We've got uh, Bob. Yeah, my peers are dropping yeah, like flies we, we, this year. We got to go through that. Yeah, we got I mean, we got Gilbert and uh, Saget. Uh, Saget. Uh, uh, the. the uh, so there's blood and cum and shit. Oh, geez. <laughs> <laughs> His legacy. <laughs> Norm. Uh, Norm. Uh, Louis Anderson. Louis Judy Anderson. Tenuta. Oh, all yeah. the, Judy Tenuta. Yeah, yeah. When Bobcat Gil- Goldwaite. Yes, here I am. <laughs> Bob still, Scratch. Bob Scratch Goldfarb. Still alive. <laughs> still alive. <laughs> Unbelievably. Yeah. Who's dead from the police academy crew? Oh, uh, the the whole gang. No, Gutenberg. Uh, no, Goody's still alive. Goody. But, but we dropped like flies. Like uh, uh, Bubba Smith. Uh, yeah, Bubba's gone. Um, Tackleberry. Tackleberry's gone. Really? Yeah, that's like. High uh, tower. Uh. uh yeah, well, that's, that's Bubba. Bubba. That's Hightower. Yeah. yeah. So, but because I, <laughs> I mean, I, I don't want to be hacky, but I do tell this story, but it's true. I got uh, ambushed by uh, TMZ, right? And they go. Uh, they on go, your way here. On the way here. No, I'm sorry I was late. I was doing Taint and Teabag. <laughs> I had a, I get double booked this morning, so oh, I'm doing okay. the media blitz. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, you uh, got a lot of engagements. And, uh, they a lot were not, to promote. Yeah, they were not going to let me go. I told their producer, Fart, that I had a, I had to get right over. That's but, the 7 a.m. drive time show, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, Century City. So I just made it in time. Uh, I... Uh, so TMZ ambushes me, you know, and they try to say something that they think is going to make you snap so they have footage of you looking like a, a dildo. Yeah. yeah. 
So uh, this kid goes, uh, he goes, hey, Bobcat, they're rebooting Police Academy. Don't you think the original cast should be in it? And I was like, no. no. And they go, why not? I go, because a lot of us are dead. <laughs> and then I said, if you're going to reboot it, you should do it. They did do uh, 21 Jump Street and yeah. make it a comedy this time. Oh, <laughs> oh snap. Holy <laughs> shit. By the way, that made the broadcast. Really? But, but the <laughs> next... The next one, I go, is, I go, I go, I go, I don't know if it's a really good time to be making wacky movies about the police. No. <laughs> and there's a dumb kid's like, why? I go, because they're killing yeah. civilians. Watch the news. Yeah, but that didn't make Maybe read broadcast. the papers. You know about ACAB? Wait, is that it? That's it. Wow. The ACAB theme? No, the theme song from the Police Academy. It's uh, in no, my head, but... It's John Williams, right? John Williams? No, it's uh, uh, Elmer Bernstein? Yes, it is. Get yeah, down. The guy, because it's really close to the animal yeah. house. Oh. I learned that because I was trying to watch Police Academy when I was Oh, sick. do you have that? Uh, like, I'll have to try to the, find you it. You have to find I'll it. Have to find this it. is the funniest <laughs> shit I've <laughs> ever seen. It's I was trying. <laughs> was the, were you getting, it's not glass no. onions. No. Is the well, plot losing? No, 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 no. <laughs> so oh, no yeah. Tell the story. Yeah, so it was, we were on tour, and for my 40th birthday, I got very sick. I got yeah. COVID. And, yeah. and I had to, like, stay off the tour for a while, mm -hmm. and I was stuck in I don't even know where it was Kansas, Kansas City, City I think it yeah. was, and the the <laughs> Holiday Inn their Wi-Fi was so shitty, like, and I even just for TV so I I put on Police Academy like, this is gonna make me feel good you know? now is it on your computer it was, or no on it was the on, the TV? TV. on the TV okay and and it it would play for like three minutes <laughs> and then it would get real shitty and then it would just pause so some, sometimes it would stop on Mahoney's like face yeah, so, I mean, just, yeah, so you yeah. show the picture that I, you sent us I have to find I have to find it I yeah. don't know where it, three minutes and yeah. then it would get shitty yeah and you had a longer run than most of us. Watching Police Academy, <laughs> but I remember oh, that's how I learned yeah. Elmer Bernstein. Uh, you know, yeah, wrote the music. He's like, it's amazing. Well, yeah. let's just get into it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Enough about Police Academy. Well, no, no. I'm saying now we're going to talk. We're now, into, yeah. I know. If we're going to talk about Police Academy, let's talk about Police Academy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What my do you need to know? Well, my personal experience with it was, I'll tell you. First one, I'm too young for Police Academy one. It's like an R-rated yeah, movie yeah. that's on yeah. HBO that I'm not allowed to watch. Yeah. So, and I don't even think the first one's all that great. I, I Were you a... F <laughs> I, I don't think... I, I, I'm not even... I'm kidding. I, I you didn't, don't think any of them are No, good. no. I don't, I don't want to get into that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I can, but... Uh, uh, I didn't. I never saw the first one oh. when, when I was recruited to do uh, PA two. But uh, PA two. <laughs> but uh, you know what I found uh, the other day was uh, I've got uh, I've got my well my daughter did this to me too. Uh, I was at uh, Sundance. You can play the drop of me screaming. Oh, yeah. I, 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 one of my films was at Sundance. Yeah, yeah. And because uh, you're a serious director, man. Uh, I've made a, a lot of. Movies, my yeah. my movies make hundreds of dollars. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, uh, and my daughter shows up like I, I had some premiere at Sundance, and she gave me my, uh, you know, my wrap jacket, the satin Police yeah, yeah. Academy two uh, wrap. <laughs> oh, gift. nice. Yeah, it was so good. Well, she, how did she get it? I, she's a costume designer. Oh, so she, she's got ways. Yeah, she found it. Yeah, and so she gave it to me just as I'm about to go out. Oh my <laughs> and god! And I wore it. You, you know, can't ever let that go. <laughs> no, no, it's, 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 it's who. Uh, you, it's part of who you it's are. It's got to go right. To so the, you never saw the first one. No, but uh, maybe I will t go over to Vix and watch it three minutes <laughs> at a time. <laughs> is it <laughs> Commander Lazard? Lazard. 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 Yeah. Now here's it's, why. It's, it, for, for me, it's gone. Right? It, oh man. Here's why you watch the Police Academy movies. If you can, you watch two without seeing one. Yeah, you can. <laughs> no, I, just, I think you can. Yeah. I mean, I was, I it's a really, little confusing. It gets, yeah, you're, yeah. You're, you're, you play the leader of this gang. Yeah, I mean, this is a tough. Zed. He's nuts. Yeah, he's your character's nuts. nuts. Yeah, psychotic. Yes. I don't know why you have a following. I mean, who but, are these people? Yeah. You know what else? It reminds <laughs> I me. I had of, everybody get tattoos of my name. <laughs> it real. Well, you weren't in the Dragnet movie, right? No, because if there was there's it's a the same similar, gang. yeah, it's same the same gang. gang, same same apocalyptic Mad Max punk faux hawk yeah. punk, you know, and 
And, and and you know how much I would cringe when they got the streaks and tips out to make punk rockers. Yeah. You know, yeah, because I mean? you, you knew that. You mean you knew that world? Yeah, that, that was world. my world. And I was like, oh, oh like, boy, I hope they, they're gonna kick me out. Uh, it's like in Star Trek Four when uh, I hope Spock... Jello doesn't see this. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> he leaves all cred right away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was picturing in Star Trek Four, if you remember, when they when <laughs> Spock gets on this bus. <laughs> And there's like the guy with the spikes yeah, in his yeah, hair. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he's playing this song. And that I song think is awesome. this goes, I hate hey. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, Savage Steve Holland went with the the spike and uh, One Crazy Summer. Oh, yeah. And uh, the character falls into the water and comes up with a fish on his spike. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, wait I forgot I'm about... Sorry, I'm all over the place. No, but, I love that movie. That so Police Academy... And I'm in it. And if I make fun of it, the people that have childhood memories, they get upset. Of and, course. And and uh, well, it's not like it's not like it's uh, gone with the wind or anything. No, we know what it is. For we know what it's like supposed us, to be. We grew up watching that. It's oh, I've like our, tremendous our favorite thing. Right. right. What I wanted to say was the things you want to watch it for are the pranks on Lassard. Right. The Gutenberg pranks on Lassard. All right. Are like kind of what you can't wait for. So you get the glue and the soap. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. That's great. Sure. <laughs> sure. And then Winslow. Yeah. I was wondering. Now, you're not in the writer's room when they're doing these movies. Uh, no. There's, there's a limited amount of things that Winslow, <laughs> what's his character's name? <laughs> uh, come on, man. Uh, come on. Uh, uh, there's a limited. What's Winslow's name? <laughs> Amount of things that for that the amount of times it's yelled at me during stand up shows. <laughs> I can't believe I don't know Winslow's character's Poor name. Poor Vic is under uh, the, in the weeds right Lar- now. Uh, yeah. For photos Larvel, of Lars- Larvel Jones? Yeah, you oh, got yeah, yeah. Hooks was the. Hooks. Okay, so, well, his, his name so was the amount of, the amount of yeah. uh, pickles they could get out of using his sound effects. No, but uh, his, his catalog is limitless. Right. If you asked him to come up with something, he would do it. They may even have just wrote stuff in and then he says, I, got, I could do this I, I think a helicopter would fart yeah. like this. <laughs> but he and suddenly people are fooled by that. <laughs> no, Michael's a very sweet guy. Yeah, but he's, we've been trying to get him on the show. Yeah. I think he would be up to do the show. Yeah, he has a he has a uh, uh, how do I say this? He has a ventriloquist personality. Do you know what I mean? Like we're we're riffing and stuff, yeah. and he's a guy who's got a skill set. Right, that he practiced in the mirror. Mm. A lot. Right, like almost like a, ma- a magician or somebody exactly. that's just very exact exactly. and, and he's precise. The, I'm going to say he's the sweetest guy. But one day we were making one of them, and and it's freezing cold and it's rainy. And by the way, you guys are the real heroes for showing up today. I, I, I just walked down the steps. <laughs> I, you are the hero because it rains. <laughs> it's by the way. Let's do a weather report. Yeah, it's, it's this show's off the rails in 2023. We have no format, no structure. <laughs> so, so. Uh, it, it's freezing cold, and we're in a. It's a, a in Toronto. It's a mental institution that's uh, still operating some of it, and then and then the uh, we're filming in the other part, and then uh, we're all miserable, and it's freezing cold, and we're in the basement. And they had a morgue even there. We're oh in the God. basement eating, <laughs> and Michael found the a, a dowel. You know the like inside of a, a paper towel. Uh-huh. So he he's got a hold of that, and mm-hmm. he's just walking around. Now the Working. meal is silent, and you yeah. hear, <laughs> and he's just, and I go, Michael. <laughs> No, <laughs> no, and I swear to God, the '80s slow clap breaks out. Oh my God! So I owe that guy an apology. Oh, he's like like, so- I, I, to this day, I feel bad. But he's like a savant. Yes, like he's like totally I must work on my craft, and finding I, new sounds. Yeah, and, and I would always be busting Goody's chops, you know, because you know we're all like a, not that the lay folks know, but you know we're all in a honey wagon. Yeah, all of us. Yeah, a, 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 except Goody's got a, a tricked out trailer. So so so. I would always be riding about the trailer. He's like, that trailer is your trailer too. If you want to hang out. So I'd just be like, he would, cut, I'd just be nude laying in his bed. <laughs> I would just, I, once he said it was my trailer, like, Oh my God. And then I, 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 I mean, he's I, carrying that picture. He's carrying it. That's, <laughs> those are broad shoulders. And, uh, I took like a, a really a, a record breaking dump in his toilet. Oh my and then god! I did, and then I did. Those things don't hold a lot of crap. I mean, <laughs> no, I mean. it, but I didn't flush. It's just right. this big giant, and I'm like I'm on the set, just you know, <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> just, and he comes in, and that was the only time because he's, he's a very sweet guy. That was the only time I saw him snap. He got very angry. yeah. I wouldn't be happy with that either. I, I go, how do you know it's me? <laughs> <laughs> if I didn't do my initials or anything. He knew. He knew. He knew. Um, but but so the producer, it, who's uh, a, a one of the most delightful people to hang out with, uh, Paul Mislansky, uh You know, he, he and I were a little bit at odds when we made the film because I would make fun of it. You know, I yeah. I would say it was I wouldn't take myself serious and and uh, you know I'd call it police lobotomy and just right. like that. And 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 this was, is on the first one that you were in. Yeah, I would just always be you know kind of a, a young pain in his ass. Well, and, give me a set up the where you are and like you're. I'm, I'm like 22 probably. And have you been on TV at doing your stand up? I was on Letterman once at okay. that point, and I had opened up. Believe it or not, I didn't open up. Whoopi Goldberg was at the comedy store. In that big room, yeah, and it was like everybody was there in the in showbiz, you know right. what I mean? Like Mike Nichols, and, and really, Richard Pryor, Crazy. and all this stuff. And then Whoopi goes, "Oh, I'd like you to see my friend." And I came out. How did you know her? Uh, for, I lived in San Francisco at the time. Okay, and she she would come to my shows. Right, and I'd go to her shows. So she. Introduced me and it was crazy. I walk out, I truly walk out and there's like Pryor in the audience and all that stuff. And I did a set after her. But people who were there always say, "Hey, remember that time you opened for Whoopi?" But I, I went on after her and I had a set and then. But so she's she launched you. Yeah, definitely because like Paul Mislansky was there that night and decided to put me in his movie. Right. Because I didn't audition or read for it. You know, I didn't. Because that character is you essentially. I mean, it was, it's your character. Yeah. I mean, if we want to go back further, like I. Started, yeah, let's go back. So I started doing stand up. Uh, let's go, Marin. Let's okay, go, full Marin. Let's Marin. go, full Marin. <laughs> <laughs> Who are your guys? Uh, Who are your? <laughs> Who are my guys? <laughs> Who are your guys? Uh, uh, Louis. Louis. Uh, <laughs> Louis Anderson. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Uh, sometimes God makes mistakes. <laughs> he got the wrong movie. <laughs> um, Ouch! <laughs> Where's the burn alert? Wow. Where's the burn alert? Wait. Shots fired. Uh, so, uh, if you re really want to go back, I was saying off the air, uh, Tom Kenny I met in first grade. Who's, Tom Kenny, who's the voice of SpongeBob. Yeah, we were six. And, uh, and Mr. Show. We weren't in the same classroom, and this nun came in, and she was crying. And sobbing, and she's dragging this little fat kid behind her, and it was me, <laughs> and Tom Kenny, who at the time already had like the Buddy Holly glasses. Yeah, in yeah. First grade, like right. And he Wayne. seemed like a guy that's just fully formed. Yeah, and, as who he is. Yeah, 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 and, and just this, yeah. And so he thought it was cool that I could make a grown nun cry. And <laughs> I remember he came over in first grade and introduced himself at lunch. And, now, are and, you, you're not you're not Downers Grove, are you? No, no. Where I live now, no. no. Where are you from? I live, I'm from, we're from Syracuse, but I do live oh. not far from Downers Grove. Yeah, I, live I in, thought you might have been, because that's Illinois where somewhere right now. Yeah, I live uh, in a, a... Don't give your address. I, I get a very small town. Uh, it's population... Uh, Don't dox yourself. Shy of 4,000 people. Don't give away your assassination mm -hmm. cor uh, yeah, coordinates. Yeah, coordinates. <laughs> 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 but I had, uh, every time... Every time Elon Musk doesn't blow up, I'm so disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to do rail, but why? Why did? Do you, I, why do you live out there? Why, why don't we? Uh, this Mike's, would be the. This would be the first. Uh, first of several. No, forget it. Continue. <laughs> so I don't but, know how. I don't know how we're on any rail. You know what I mean? Uh, just like true, we're off I, the rail. We're further doing, derail we're what, <laughs> your story, but is, why? Why do you live? This in is the home? fourth appendix. Uh, so I. Uh, my girlfriend's family lives out there, and I was, you know, I, I used to live right here in Glendale. Oh, and, really? And, yeah, watching two fires in a row every, you know, yeah. every summer. And I I, <laughs> I like firemen. Uh, <laughs> you want to hear, hear sure. a joke? I like firemen. The dangerous building, uh, they run in and they yeah. save people. They don't wait 90 to 70 minutes. Oh. <laughs> oh taking Uvalde <laughs> down a couple notches. <laughs> oh, shit. They, they are getting so uppity. Ouch. So, uh, <laughs> it's the police <laughs> the academy alert. So, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so uh, yeah, I, lo I live out in the woods and stuff. Yeah, and you like that? Yeah, yeah. Well, You're I'm, happy? In the Midwest, I'm thin, so that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, I am the Daniel Craig of DuPage right. County, Illinois. That guy looks sick. Now, does it is it a scary career thing? Because it, now you could, uh, it, it's a little harder to... I, I wonder if stuff. people think, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I've, I've actually... You're been, not retired. No, I'm not retired. I've, I'm working on two different uh, things right now. Two oh, great. Two different uh, movies. So, nice. So... 
Uh, you can still be, you be can, productive and creative. You, I it's can, kind of a cool move. Kind of a Chappelle move. I can not work from anywhere. No, I yeah. can, you know, you can now, like, you know, I can add it. I, I, I added the thing I did with Dana Gould, the Joyride. Oh, yeah. You know, I did yeah. that remotely and stuff. But so and I then met, you're still on the road. You're doing stand-up. I do a lot of dates. And and like I said, I just, I'm, I'm starting this new thing. It's supposed to be top secret, but I kind of could use some help. Let's I, break some news. Yeah, this is, right. uh, this is uh, I, I don't know if the company would be happy about this but i don't care you know what i'm a bad boy no one's watching okay by the way. <laughs> okay so so i have uh the reels this is the this is the news the news of a edward uh lost masterpiece <laughs> really yeah i have uh but it's it's not finished right. so i am Finishing it? Yeah, I'm going to film the missing scenes. How did you uh, procure this? I'm not going to. I'm okay. not at but okay. But it, everyone thought this was gone, and it's called Operation Red Light. It was called Mama's Diary when it was a book. Then it became uh, Mama's House of Ill Repute. And, <laughs> and nothing of Ed's ever comes out the same name. Like yeah, yeah. When you watch this movie, I'll right. probably, uh, Dana Gould and I are making it, we'll probably change the name of the movie during the movie because <laughs> right, nothing right. Ed's names ever. <laughs> right. So how uh, much of it do would you say is is sort of finished, or is it? It's I would a, say I've got about uh, about seventy percent, you know, shot so, and edited, or just yeah, the footage. But, but but here's the couple things: the audio is missing. So we're oh my God. We, so gonna, but we're hiring a lip reader, going Peter Jackson to, and it, it's a tale as old as time. Ed plays. I shouldn't let. Ed plays <laughs> a, a a madam in a brothel in Vietnam that was shot here in Silver Lake. Wow. <laughs> Ed Wood. You have an Ed Wood. Yeah, you're trying to process this. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's like, a lot to take in. Yeah. And are you filming the the parts yeah. to, to match? Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, so he'll, Ed, Ed will, Ed's in drag most of the movie, but Ed will walk through a door and then an actor will play him, kind of like what, uh, you know. Johnny Depp. Well, yeah. <laughs> no, but, but no, do you remember. Um, uh, uh, what was that movie called? Oh, sorry, I'm zoning out. Uh, uh, Vic's just going to start naming random movies, start, but it's not no, going to no, be Police you know. Academy 3. Police, <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> the drop. Better off dead. All yeah. right. So, so, uh, so yeah, so uh, I shouldn't probably be talking about it, but I need help because there's a book called uh, Mama's Diary, and that's what this script is based on, and oh. I've had no luck. And people will say, oh, try oh. this person. We've tried Cornell. They own it's a lot out of, of Ed stuff. Print. They yeah, don't have it at uh, Walden Books. Or uh, <laughs> 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 you know, I tried Amazon. <laughs> Boom! Right away. Uh, so I'm gonna ask your fans. Uh, don't uh, uh, if you know, because people give me suggestions, which is nice. They'll say recommend bookstores and things, yeah. but that doesn't help. Uh, but if you know anyone that has uh, Mama's Diary, you know who probably has it is like a Crispin Glover. Well, you'd think like somebody like that would just have this weird library. But I mean, between Dana and I, we have so much Ed stuff. You yeah, know, yeah. Like, 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 you know, Dana has the spaceship, one of the spaceships from wow, Plan Nine, and he has this, a spaceship from Ed Wood. And uh, I'm not going to take off my shirt. I have a big Ed Wood tattoo. <laughs> oh wow. On my, uh, maybe I will for the yeah. something, something for the. <laughs> well, let me let me do home. let me just do some something here. Yeah. Bobcat, we have. An audience here that yeah, I've been ignoring, really, and we, I just want to I say I derailed your program. No, I oh, continue to do so. Continue to do so. I have many more questions, and I just want to like bring somebody in just to say hi, and see what's going on out there. How, uh, for all we know, we're not live. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Brett, who should we just say hi to, and then we'll get back to the, for all the we know, life because uh, there's so much to get to with you. Yeah, but we're looking at. It. <laughs> For all we know, this could be a men's. Uh, uh, oh, we've got Adam a, H with a question for Bobcat. It's, a, it's well, a men's a, a, a Zoom meeting. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> well, we're gonna bring somebody in, and they're gonna come and say, "How's it going?" And they're gonna say, "Uh, pretty good." <laughs> pretty good. Uh, like, well, do you have anything? No, just just saying hi. No, Adam, you got a question? You have, actually have a question for Bobcat? Oh yes, yes. Very big fan, Bob. Of Hi. all your movies you, direct, you directed and starred in, but uh, mainly direction. Um, I love uh, when you said the heat, love that. Oh, love my, God. God. oh my God. Yeah. yeah. Let America, me say, you, Windy City Heat is all, in my top five comedies of all time. Uh, thanks, man. That's uh, 
Yeah. Police Academy 2. <laughs> um, Slappy and the Academy Stinkers. Three. Slappy and the Stinkers. Five kids, one sea line, no rules. K9 with Jim Belushi. K9. Uh. K9 2 is shit. Oh, but K9 1 yeah. is the shit. Is yeah. the shit. It's just a money grab. Okay, you have a question. Yeah, I was just wondering if there's any plans on doing a, a God Bless America 2. It seems kind of like it came uh. out a little too early. Yeah, that, it, it does. I, I'm not flattering myself, but it's really weird. Some of those speeches that Joel Murray's character yeah. says, you know. Prescient. Yeah, I'm flattering myself, but it was weird. But I just got in a place, you know, I don't know how many years ago that was, where I was like kind of looking at where we were heading. And I, and, and it's much worse than, than, than I assume. But yeah. Um, right. Well, I mean, it would be kind of like doing an easy ride or two, you know, seeing that I killed up the yeah that's tough. <laughs> yeah but um <laughs> spoiler <laughs> the easy rider too could be their uh, funeral yeah could be the people that show up at the funeral. Still, still riding and it's a still flashback riding. as they as you they know that was them. tossed around in the 80s oh sure still riding still riding <laughs> yeah and they're <laughs> Like that movie Hog Shots with uh, Robin Williams and John Travolta. <laughs> hog oh, Shots? Yeah. You don't know? Oh, yeah. No, not Hog Shots. You mean, you mean Wild so Hogs? Wild oh, Hogs. Yeah, don't. No, hog Shots is an old cinema. Else. Hog Shots. Don't, don't Google don't, Hog don't, Shots. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> it takes you to a really dark on, on place. On cinema, I did, years ago, did a thing where I was putting out a book of motorcycle pictures called Hog Shots, but it never came out. <laughs> okay. But wait, you accept your Wild right? Hogs. Yeah. Wild, wild Hogs. hogs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. With Travolta, uh, still, there's a really funny music video from that too. Oh, they, right. they cover yeah. every little thing by uh, Bobby Brown for it's some a, reason. Still hogging, <laughs> still but hogging. Uh, no, there's no uh, God Bless America uh, uh, coming too. But uh, you know that movie. Uh, I, I think that movie's. If I'm, if I talk about my Canada work, I think that one needed another script pass. I, I, I there's a couple. Like sometimes I think of scenes I wish I'd fixed and stuff. Uh, I don't feel you could that do the direct oh, yeah. the uh, like the Coppola thing or the Lucas thing. Yeah, where you go do back. The... Yeah, although there's no audience for it. I mean, it no. opens. If I don't know if you've seen it, but it opens with uh, Joel's character shoots a baby. And, yeah, um, that's not for me. But you know, well, it's, it's <laughs> <laughs> because he, he goes, I hate that baby. I hate that baby's fat, <laughs> stupid face. Because he, he he goes to the next door neighbor and they go, Hey, bro, what's the problem? Yeah. I'm not your bro. You know, it's a yeah. fantasy. Yeah, cause, yeah. Because he knows he's. Uh, homicidal at that point but when the guy showed up with his baby he truly goes what are we shooting today and i'm like your baby and then i realized oh no one told this guy we're shooting his baby <laughs> oh my god wow. so that's how you got him on the set <laughs> and, so, and so this is not there's two stories that I, I i i'm not proud of and this is one of them trying to make that baby cry oh god I, yeah i've been there because <laughs> oh, it wouldn't cry so i would like I, we would have the dad go away. Bye, dad. The kid didn't care. I'd take his toy. I took food out of the kid's mouth. No cry. Then I crawl on all fours, and then I get right in his face. And I go, <laughs> <laughs> and, the kid, and the kid starts going, <laughs> I'm like, yeah. roll, 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 yeah. roll. So I'm behind the camera growling. Holy shit. <laughs> and the, it's a baby. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. the other time I'm not proud of this was... Uh, the shitting I, in Gutenberg's trailer. In Guten, I no, that, that's a... That's a that's my bronze yeah. star. So I, uh, I went and uh, I was doing this show called Misfits and Monsters that I did on uh, yes, recently. Tr True TV, yeah, yeah, the uh, Federal Witness Relocation Network. If you <laughs> if you need to cool off, they give you a show on True TV. So I was on there and um, and the uh, uh, I did an episode with Bridget Everett and my friend Tony V, and he plays. Uh, Neptune. He play and so Bridget yeah. is a mermaid and uh -huh. she's out on a date. And then Neptune comes out of the ocean. He's like, hello, whore. And go, oh, that's my ex. Just keep going. And, right. um, and so, <laughs> so we filmed this scene. And I get there, and we're in Florida, and there's all these signs that say uh, uh, alligator warning. Uh-huh. Because they there's there's a bunch of manatees. Because you're in Florida, yeah. Yeah, and they eat the yeah. they eat yeah. the baby manatees. I don't know. So I go, I go, hey, can you take those signs down? So, oh. So I took the alligator. Oh. These are my lowest points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I took but then the you signs. put them back up. Yeah, we put them back up sure. when we wrapped, you okay. know. So Bridget, there's a period of time where there's uh, exposure to alligators. Yeah. Perhaps, well, the next day, Bridget warning. and Tony are like, "Oh, you know, it's weird how the manatees kept uh, they kept swimming through the shots. It was in the middle of the night." And they go, <laughs> "Yeah, yeah." And they go, "You know what? Uh, uh, they go alligators uh, attack manatees." This is I go. Funny you bring that up. <laughs> <laughs> 
like at four o'clock in the morning we wrap and the, the prop guy's got a big stack of warning alligator signs under his eyes like night boss night <laughs> can <laughs> you imagine up. if someone was killed by uh, an alligator because it would have been decision? pretty horrible yeah I think it would like my better friend, than that John Landis no. no but if it was like <laughs> <laughs> my friend Tony's really he would have fucked an alligator up right. I, you know it would have been like I'd be like rolling yeah <laughs> yeah we'll cut around it, it all right like, let's take another zoomer and then we have to do thank City you. of the Thanks Day. Thanks for watching the, the movie. Oh, don't thank him. <laughs> <laughs> he did nothing. First of all, people that ask for sequels, yeah. they don't want sequels. They really don't want sequels. Uh, they want more of something they, they want love. more of that movie, yeah. maybe. But was, I don't know. So, wait, were you in Better Off Dead, too? No, I was only you in, in One Crazy Summer. One Crazy Summer. And, and uh, people get upset when you say this, but I, I think uh, Better Off Dead is... is, is Funnier. Oh God, yes. Okay, good. No offense. Uh, no, no, none, but, none taken. One Crazy Summer is fun, and I and yeah. I and one of the best times I ever had making a movie, and yeah. it's and it's very funny. But but uh, in the Savage Steve uh, universe, I think Better Off Dead. Well, I'm glad you funnier. say universe because I do feel like I don't know anything about either of those movies, right? Uh, except that I grew up loving them. But there does seem to be like a, a universe there. Yeah, yeah, because the same people Who, show up, like Curtis Armstrong, yeah. and Cusack. And there's just like comedy rules in there that yeah. are singular to those movies, Yeah, I, think. I mean, I, I, I love working with Savage. He's got his own... So who is it? Who is the guy? Savage Steve Holland. And what do we know about this guy? Well, I mean, he works on a lot of... Uh, television and things he constantly worked but but he had like that and then he, how he got into college which is still similar in tone okay, I didn't see that but he 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 uh you know we that movie was a blast to make and I didn't realize until we were doing the uh, DVD commentary there's like some stuff in it where that I would like pitch him a scene and then go out and film it right like the little fat boy speech <laughs> in crazy summer but he he, he uh there's a, a movie that's inside the movie, A Chainsaw Murder. Yeah, and, yeah. And and uh, he said, yeah, you directed that. And I was like, I totally oh, really? did not really? Like you that. just took the reins for that No, little... he said, well, you go direct it. And he goes, right. he goes I kept feeling really bad because you, you had all this <laughs> atmosphere. You had smoke and right. chainsaws and effects. And and, and uh, we were off making our movie. That reminds is there's nothing to do with summer school, right? Summer school is a whole other thing. Yeah, Remember no, summer that, school? No, I, don't, I think they not. ripped you off in summer school. I think there's a character that was like oh a guy like me a guy like you yeah, that's all right yeah I mean, yeah there's a there's there's an animated character who comes up some guys doing a, my voice and and uh so where did the voice come from but that because doesn't bother me at all like tom kenny's funny though because sometimes he, he drags and he'll be he does so many cartoons and he'll say a bobcat goldthwaite type and tom's like you know <laughs> just, you could get bobcat get yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's he'll do this for scale plus 10. so where did that voice or that character come from well, and I, then when did you retire? Like, sort of. Well, Tommy and I started doing stand up when we were like, you know, fourteen years old. Right. No, yeah, fifteen. Yeah, just anything. That's we, pretty. Yeah, where? Yeah, it, we were in Syracuse, but anything. Fucking we daycare. Have, but I mean, like at school or like. Well, it's, we'd always do stuff in school, but we would do, uh, uh, you know, like there's a gong show, or a talent show at the New York State Fair. Uh, that kind of stuff. And then there was an ad in the Syracuse New Times, the Alt Weekly, that this guy needed comics, this guy Barry Crimmins, who later on I made a movie called Call Me Lucky. Oh, yeah. I saw that one, too. And uh, so so we show up, and his, it says, ask for Bearcat, right? And uh, and we're just, we're, just, we're just shitty high schoolers. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and this guy, there's a big plume of smoke, and he's sitting on stage, and he's reading papers, writing jokes, and <laughs> drinking in the afternoon day drinking and he had heard us like i'm sure i made tom Kenny do the voice because you know like right. you call sound like a guy yeah yeah, yeah yeah so we call uh -huh. and he, he he was he just looks up at us and he goes Ugh, are you the guys i talked to <laughs> yeah, oh. he goes, it's the fucking kitty core yeah, yeah but he put us on stage and 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 we did okay and we kept going back but so so barry kind of started us in doing comedy yeah but so he says, when we go, uh, uh, are you Bearcat? And he's like, yeah, because that was the ad. And it's right. like, oh, that's funny because cause, uh, I'm Tomcat and this is Bobcat, <laughs> oh, that's which how nobody starts. had never called us ever. <laughs> right, right. And, <laughs> and then just stuck. And then, yeah, 40 years later, he's Tom Kenny and I'm Bobcat. Yeah. So great joke. <laughs> so, so you get into, you develop this character. 
Uh, I would say it's a character. Yeah, so so I would do my my stand up early on was more without sounding pretentious conceptual. So I yeah. go on stage, and it would just be concept pieces. Obviously, I was really influenced by Kaufman, yeah, and yeah. Steve Martin stuff at the time. So sure. so I would do this. So I did this. It's interesting. The, the first time I did that character he was a guy who had seen Bigfoot, and I come on and just talk about Bigfoot, and right? Stuttering and being nervous <laughs> and all this stuff, and you know, and then I started going, well, this guy should do stand up. It's just kind of be funny. So yeah. I'm, then I'm doing like observational humor, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I would be like the the real genesis of it was when I go on stage and I'd gotten a real dear John letter from this girl I was obsessed with. And um, I'm like, thank you. You know, I'll try to see if I can do you it. You don't have to. <laughs> no, but it'd be to. like, yeah, yeah. you know, I'm like, please. I'm like, thank you very much. It's really <laughs> nice to be here. Thank you. And uh, and and uh, and that kills. And I'm going, yeah. Well, no, they're because okay. they don't know me. They're like, who is this guy? Right, and I'm right. like going, uh, and I'm trying to do observational humor. And then I go, hey, thank you. It feels good to be here. And I'm like, it doesn't feel good to be here. And oh, I start crying. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. I read this Dear John letter. <laughs> that's great. About how you wow. know, see other people. <laughs> yeah. And I'm sobbing. And then I put it away and I go, my wife is so fat. And, and oh. people are like, how fat is she? I yeah. go, I told you, I don't even have a girlfriend. <laughs> and I'd just be crying. And that would be the whole set, just right. crying. Yeah, it's just... And then from that, I would do stuff like, a, and I'd come out of the character. And I'd go, does anybody have a fish? And then my roommate would, <laughs> would have like, like a big uh-huh. We'd get the biggest fish we could find. Yeah, yeah. Get, so he pulls out a herring. Right. And it smelled because it had been stuck in the trunk of a car. Yeah. And, um. And then I just gutted it on stage, oh, and the, the vomit goes. Out. I, oh. I mean, the the the, the shock guts, comedy. The guts go out on the stage. Yeah. And then this woman is at the dingo. This woman just immediately contact vomit. Oh my god! <laughs> so I so I put the mic down. It's like so, G.G. Allen. Yeah. Stuff. So I, and then you hear her vomiting over oh the PA, god. and then Shunley. I don't know how to say this without sounding t- t- slightly racist, but it is what it happened. So it's just mayhem. And the next guy, Bill Campbell, goes out. And he's like, uh, you know, uh, I'm a married guy, and you know, he, he starts talking about starts doing his, his very his, sweet guy, his, his, his act, <laughs> yeah, just doing a his normal act about relationships. Comedy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and there's and guts there's... and vomit on the stage. <laughs> and Shun Lee, the guy who owned the dingo, is uh, he's from China, and he goes, he goes, Bobcat, uh, you weird. <laughs> he goes, oh, you weird. Yeah. And so. But it was funny because back in that time, here I am like 19, and 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 uh, I would go into New York. I was living in Boston. I'd go into New York, and the other person that was always down there at the same auditions would be Jim Carrey. Ah, oh, yeah. And he would come in from Toronto, both of us 19, and Jim would go up, and he's doing like, you know, Kermit singing Rainbow Connection. Right. Which is, by the way, could be the jam of all jams. It's yeah, a great yeah, song. It's a great song. It's very melancholy. And he does a good impression. Kills. Yeah, yeah. Then he's doing On Golden Pond. Right. Playing all the parts. Right, right. By the way, it's really good. I've not seen a that, goddamn yeah. joke in the whole act. Right, just, just doing yeah. these things. It's craft and catch your eyes and standing up. And then wow. I come out and I've got all this eye makeup <laughs> on. Yeah, it's running. Yeah, yeah. And, and, I, and I'm crying <laughs> and I'm screaming and I'm in a tight leisure suit. Yeah, I would clear the room like a bear. Oh my. <laughs> Well, there was. I mean, there's a crop of you guys out there that were. Character that comedians that yeah. were just kind of I think it was like aggressive. Almost, it was like the second wave after like Kaufman and Steve Martin who yeah. were meta making fun of stand up. Right. Would you put Howie Mandel in there? Uh, I, I mean, don't, maybe. I yeah. just remember it like the fucking the rubber glove, rubber on glove his and he's just manic I'll, and like. I'll give you another exclusive. When I was a teenager, I would put a rubber glove on. No. <laughs> I really did. I didn't think he stole it. Right, it was right. Just pretty similar. <laughs> I came up with parallel thinking. I remember in Boston once. Uh, Two guys getting into a physical fight because Boston doing the comedy scene was very rough. Yeah, yeah. A lot of hard drinking and drugs. And I remember being in Boston. I was trying to do my Mark Maron. Boston, man, that's where it all started. Yeah, you yeah. know, me, Cross. But I would watch it and they, uh, two guys, here was the joke. Is it me or does E.T. look like a piece of shit? <laughs> <laughs> E.T. go home. Flush noise, right? Uh-huh. Two guys, uh, both... <laughs> It's this thing they had been that piece of genius got into a physical fight over who wrote, is it me? Or does he look like a piece of Hey, this of is shit? gold, man. Yeah, this is my yeah. shit. Yeah, Fucking yeah. Hilarious. All right, wait. 
I want to keep talking about this. I want to get to another Zoomer. Wait, I got to do City of the Day. Sorry. At some point. I'm so sorry. I'm curious if you No, this is... I like... You were kidding, right? No, but I do have questions. I know. Did you find your picture yet? You should be hard at work on this. I was trying to pay attention to the show. the funniest picture. Comedy genius. You can watch the show later, okay? I'll fucking... Oh, yeah. Watch it. I'll watch it. City of the Day. Don't out. All right, listen, folks. The City of the Day is sponsored by Doug Peep Flicks. Are you bored of the endless crappy shows uh, that you, the streaming services are jackhammering down our throats? Don't you wish you could watch something real for once? Well, now you can with Peep Flicks. Peep Flips. <laughs> Peep Flicks gives you <laughs> access to millions of security cameras worldwide for endless entertainment. That's a pretty good idea. Plus, you can see what your neighbors with security cameras are up to. Now you can finally know what all the yelling is about. You can also see who's at the local bar or how busy the grocery store is. You can see if your boss is in a good mood and what time he left his house. And you can have a love interest. And if you have a love interest, you can see where they are and plan a romantic meet cute. That's not all. You can upgrade to PeepFlix Elite and get access to recorded footage and see where people were and what they did. And with PeepFlix Platinum, you can control smart thermostats, refrigerators, and even cars. So you can take over the controls of any Tesla and make them go wherever you want. So sign up for PeepFlix today. Just look up, look us up on the dark web and make sure you have your cryptocurrency ready. PeepFlix. Now this is what I like to see. <laughs> With Pretty Flicks, funny. I can look at the city of the day is. We've got Steven. Steven with the city of the day. Steven. Let me play the jingle. We've got a jingle oh, here. We've got a jingle. Always Doug. forget the jingle. Peep flicks. With peep flicks, I can look at all my neighbors and you can't hide because I know where you go. With peep flicks, now that's what I like to see. Thank you. Beautiful. <laughs> Stephen, what is the city of the day? Uh, we are here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. 35 degrees. Grand Rapids, Michigan. Bobcat's been here at Dr. Grin's and some other venues. Yeah, around Dr. As Grin's. Well. Both Grand and Rapid. Dr. Grin's, uh, it totally sounds like a, a, a murder. Yes. Uh, 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 evil know. villain. You know, do you know Dr. Grin's was also, I don't know if they still are, they're uh, owned by the same people who owned Uncle Funny's. <laughs> Uncle which, Funny's is which, an awful name. Yeah, it sounds like a bad touch on I used to live in Philadelphia. In college, I lived in Philadelphia. I lived in, uh, my apartment was in the gay uh, section of Philadelphia, a few blocks of gay bars and stuff. And uh, the, I lived next to a club called Uncle's. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> uncles uncles gonna stop in at uncles for a drink tonight um all well, right so and landers day. used to use terms like funny uncle this is for pedophiles oh so it were, does it, what's the who song uh uh which one fiddle the, um, fiddle about fiddle about yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> i'm your wicked uncle ernie you can't see or hear me. As I fiddle, fiddle about. about. What are you fiddle about? So you're just fiddle molesting. About. Which was written by John Entwistle because right. Pete Townsend's own abuse as a kid, he felt too close to it and right. did not want to write that song. I also Ooh. heard that they had the whole Tommy record written yeah. except for the pinball Pinball element. wizard, yeah. And there was a gal. We need a hit. Like, there was a gal who near where they were recording and she was dubbed the pinball wizard because she was really good at pinball. And then they, they just went, pulled that out. Then he went back and, and wrote that, and then they kind of sandwiched it all in. I've right. heard. I'm not a Who That makes sense. I I'm think they a, were I'm sort not of a like, fan. They, they were like, <laughs> we don't we don't have a hit. Like we don't have a single yeah, yeah. for this. So they, they I still don't believe someone deaf, dumb, and blind could be that good. <laughs> like deaf, dumb? Dumb. Dumb. <laughs> dumb too? No, but like you can't hear. That that means dumb. Yeah. No, deaf was, means you can't hear. Dumb. Oh, means dumb means you can't did? talk. Dumb. No, no, mute. Mute is mute. Uh, well, they used to say Dumb. Blind kid. Deaf is ears. Yeah. Dumb is brain. No, dumb means Deaf. you can't speak. Dumb and blind. But you can kid. also say mute, but dumb is, okay. is a, I mean, it's an offensive. Yeah, I, I'm PC sure it's term. not a cool term, but they can't hear you, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> no, they can't. Okay, if well, you, maybe if what? it means they can't talk, I'll believe the song. Well, you don't <laughs> need to, to talk to play pinball. Sorry to derail the show. Why do you need so, to talk to play pinball? Dumb. 
Oh, so you're God. saying? Well, yeah, he should leave that out. <laughs> it's the blind part. That, you just, you know, deaf and blind. So, Doug, you're saying that he may not have played mean pinball. The only thing that matters is being be blind. Accurate. But you could feel it, like you know, with your hands. You could like feel it here. Well, he obviously is a great here. pinball player. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the proof's in the pudding. It's, yeah. Brett, do we have anybody on the hotline? <laughs> From Grand Rapids. <laughs> Thank you, Grand Rapids. Thank you, Grand Rapids. I don't really have any train wreck stories about Grand Rapids. The great Grand Rapids. Uh, nice, nice folks. I think the Amway headquarters. Oh, I have a question for <laughs> Stephen, you. if you're still there. Uh, I was watching the Sam Cedar show, and there somebody called in from Grand Rapids how the, the MAGA people have, like, taken over the local government. Do you know anything about that? Uh, no one was taken over. There were people outside of... Uh, the abortion clinic on Fulton, like normal with signs, but okay, good. Is, Thank you for that is. update. <laughs> well, yeah. are you? I you have your axe there, just ready to shred. <laughs> oh, they always yeah, have the guitars. Yeah, working on songs. Give me yeah, something from right the now. Who. Give me a little uh, yeah. Tommy. Tommy, can you oh. hear me? No, nothing from the Who. Okay, really? probably won't come. All right, you gotta learn go some Who, ding, man. Ding, 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 I can't explain. Three chords, man. <laughs> Do we have anybody on the hotline then? Yeah, you go. <laughs> yeah, I've got a Uncle Pat with a quick uh, <laughs> deadhead joke. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Uncle's <laughs> Only Uncle Hour. Pat. All right. All right, it's Uncle's Only Hour. It's... Uncle Pat. Uncle Pat, you're live with Bobcat, Tim, Vic, Doug, Brett. Brett, thank you. It looks like it's not coming through. He might also be in the Zoom, though. One second. Oh, uh, okay. Uncle Pat. To put on. Know, there's a guy up here with his hand on. raised that looks like Jake Tapper. CNN. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's like Kevin. Kevin, I can bring Kevin in. Kevin. Kevin oh, McCarthy. Oh. The great Kevin <laughs> McCarthy. Hey guys. The debased <laughs> Kevin McCarthy. He's doing great. Yeah. <laughs> so if he had like actually oh, yeah. just made an effort to kick out the, uh, <laughs> the <laughs> insurrectionist. Yeah, yeah. He would be in He'd right be now. He'd be sitting right. pretty. Yeah. Boy, can you imagine being held hostage by that Matt Gates and Lauren yeah. Bobart? That's I would just see Matt Gates and AOC in the same frame together. That was I'm crazy. like, what the hell are they talking well, that about? That Ghostar was talking to to AOC <laughs> the too. Weirdest, the weirdest. The weirdest. I wonder weird. if Ghostar comes in and says, I am Ghostar. I am Ghostar. <laughs> Dr. Ghostar. You would have been good as Rick Moranis' character in Ghostbusters. Yes. Were I, you considered for that? No, but, okay. but you know, in <laughs> in the movie Scrooge, yes. I, I'm wearing glasses and I have short hair. And every day the prop guy, when he would give me my glasses, he would say, I know what you're doing. You're Rick Moranis in Ghostbusters. And I go, oh. oh thanks, Every man. day. Oh. Like, like, like. Just can I, do, I just, can you just let me do my thing? Hey, why, here? why don't you try that shit over there? That's right. Uh, you were the Bob I'm, Cratchit. Wait, he's the, having his own right? Groundhog's Day. Yeah, go try that. On, on, no, uh, yeah, go exactly. try that on Bill Murray. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> yeah, let's, yeah. See, let's see what wall you go through. <laughs> <laughs> I know oh, what you're trying to do. I fucking you're hate that to, shit. Those people uh, think they're being fun and cool. I don't, yeah. Like, like, no. Uh, I'm not doing Rick Moranis. All right. So is Who's here? Uncle Kevin here? Uncle Kevin. I'm your wicked Uncle Kevin. Oh. Hi guys! Hey, um, greetings! Happy That's New like Year, James Austin Johnson. Johnson. Hey, yeah, very much. Hey, what are you, where's your beard? Oh yeah, it's, he, it's he must have he shaved his beard or his mustache. Oh, okay. Is that correct? Yeah, Kevin, how are you? It's been a while. Kevin's a long time. Yeah, it's Zoomer. been a while. I've been. Uh, I took a job out here in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, so I've been kind of off the grid for a while and. Always tuning in and catching up, but uh, very busy with work. I'm in, running an art gallery. What kind of jobs are out in Jackson Hole? I'm curious. I'm running an art auction house. All right. Wow. <laughs> so selling art. They're art dealers. Because that's off big the money. Stuff there. That's big money out there. Yeah, but I, I, it, there is it big is. money It's there. the wealthiest county in the country now, Teton nice. County. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Wow. It is wealthy. So it's been, it's I been bet great. there's a bunch of good people there. <laughs> Regular jokes. Yeah. Do you ever get tired of all the libtards? Yeah. <laughs> so, you ever see, uh, sell a painting to George Soros? Um, no. Okay. But I probably have a former colleague in my old job who did. Okay. Rich people love to live in a hole. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that that is a lot of money Jack's there. Son's and, and how hole. long have you lived there? Uh, well, technically since May first. Yeah. And do you like it? I do. Yeah. I mean, I'm working a lot, but, uh, you know, it's, you got the Grand Teton mountains in the backyard. It's, 
it's such beautiful hiking country. So yeah, that's not bad. It's, it's pretty breathtaking. Let's, uh, it's, let's it's auction a on a it's, let's it's uh, let's let's, let's auction on a painting here. Give us no, a painting no. to auction on. <laughs> yeah, let's see which painting. These are all priced to go. <laughs> Okay. Hey, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200. Is your, is your boss two, out of town three, and you got to sell these? 600, $700. Wow, he's got it. Any further advance at 700 Oh, gentleman comes in at $800. It's at now at 800 At $800. Any further advance at 800 We're at $800. Fair warning. Okay. Last chance what at we, $800. You're, you're pretty good so, at it. Not what great. Are we, what are we bidding on? <laughs> what, what, what did you have to, uh, for us? You have your hand raised. Um, oh, I have a been, little... Uh, I have a little, I'm going to ask a question that can be answered with a drop. So I just oh. wanted to like see how on, on the ball, Vic and. Okay. You guys ready? Get your Here trigger fingers ready. Yeah. Easy. Boss. And actually, Tim, if you know the answer, you could whisper it to, you know, Vic, you can, I'll, I'll lead you into that. I'll, I can write drop. it down and give it to him. Well, you could just whisper and say, well, just, this uh, is stop the telling answer. me to whisper. Give us three <laughs> seconds to, <laughs> to, to, to imagine okay. somebody. Here's the question. It's a question that's going to be answered with a question. So, Vic, get ready. Okay, here we um, go. So, many, many years ago, at water coolers around the country, what question was heard when Eric Estrada's major television show was canceled? So, oh, when... That's yours. What, what are we going to do with that? <laughs> oh, I know. I know what it is. <laughs> I figured Tim would get it. Well, Vic got it, but he, but he, it's not my drop, but it's hey. not, it's not a Vic drop. No, hold on. I got it. Uh, are, are you talking about this? Sh this what the hell Just are we going to do with old men? With, oh, chips. Yes. Oh, oh, oh shit. sorry. Go ahead, well, I'd I'd like I have you. that one. Okay. Wait. What are we going to do with our chips? What the hell are we going to do with old men? All right, come on back and forth. Tag team it. What the hell are we going to do without men? What are we going to do without <laughs> chips? What the hell are we going to do without men? What are we going to do without chips? All right. What the hell are we going to hey, do Hey, by the way, thank you for that. Uh, Doug, <laughs> Doug, uh, Doug and everybody, God, I we've got a, very I special, <laughs> got a very special comedian calling in right now. Very famous. Oh, this is exciting. Whoa. Very famous comedian right now. We have on the line Mr. Jerry Seinfeld. Jerry, are you there? That's a happy new year. Happy New Year to, the, uh, to you. How was your, uh, how were your holidays? Oh, well, they were fine, but I'm sick of getting prisons in winter. I'd rather get prisons in summer. Doesn't scent to like nice weather. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> okay, thanks, Jerry. Hey, uh, Jerry, uh, while we have you, do you still uh, keep in touch with, this, with the whole Seinfeld cast? Yes, I have no bad feelings towards any of them. I've forgiven Kramer for his racist remarks. Why does Jason wear an optional toupee? Pick one or the other. He doesn't like Jason's optional. I guess not. A shame. Hey, by the way, we got Bobcat Goldwaith here. Uh, you fan? He has no talent, but I'm a big fan of the Police Academy movies. I love Bubba Smith. I would like him to tackle me sometime. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's he good. he's it's not aware needed, that Bubba Jerry. Smith <laughs> won't be able to tackle him, I guess. Uh, well, thanks for calling in. It's exciting to talk to you. Happy New Year. Thanks for having me. I've got to go. My son has more clothes for me to try on and model. <laughs> wow! There you go. That's a, I got yeah. That's a big star. Yeah, that's a yeah. big guest. Now, did you? Did, did, now, did you know he went off on me on his? Show? Yes, oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. of course sure. I do. <laughs> that's so funny. What was that about? Uh, on his show? Oh yeah. On, uh, did you go off on, on him? On millionaire comedians bitching about their diamond oh, shoes yeah, being too tight that. while they make fun of the working class people yeah. in yeah. cars no oh, one can yeah. afford. Show. <laughs> Exactly. Uh, Where, did you start the feud? You know, here's, it was so long ago. Yeah. Uh, now I can, you see, you see, no, like it was so long. No, I it, it was just that it was so we long ago. It, it, it was so long ago that uh, I was on Arsenio. That's where this whole thing This is a started. long time ago. Yeah. But uh, I thought we were good uh, just because I was friendly with his manager. But uh, right. maybe I had owed him an apology or whatever. But my friend Bridget Everett was on his show. And then. He's like going, he's not oh. funny. And Bridge is like, well, I love him. Yeah, and he's a friend of mine. And she's like, well, yeah, I know. And she re he really makes Bridge squirm. Right. It's really weird. And she goes, well, I love him. And he's like, it's good that you love him because audiences don't love him. They love me. 
because I got talent and I got skills. Oh. It's really weird. And then oh. he laughs like, <laughs> I was like, Steinfeld finally has an opinion about something, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's and it's me. And then so I made a joke, some jokes about his uh, child brides. Yeah, about yeah. him banging that high schooler high school, yeah, when yeah. he was in yeah. and then, Shoshana. Mm -hmm. And then I made a joke of uh, calling it Jerry Seinfeldology because you know he 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 dabbled in the Scientology. Oh, and, did he? Yeah, and he kind of <laughs> he kind of defends it. He won't say right. anything negative about it. But, What's so wrong with that? So uh, so he's still mad, and he calls me out. Oh, he oh he calls you out. The, on his show, like he right. said, he was like, "That's my favorite part of the new season," or some crap like that. And it's just like, dude, it's just like and he doesn't reach out to you. No, no, but it's really. like, it's also like, why? I, I really bug him for this long, and, and it's I don't even think it's about the jokes I made. I think it was about he. I just well, did. I didn't fit in his idea of what comedy should I, yes. be. And I got, and he, of course, me and Eric always uh, got that, especially from right. those kind of stand-ups. Yeah, there was yeah, this yeah. feeling of like, that's just weird, or that that's yeah. not real or comedy. Or secretly want to be able to do yeah. something like that and let loose. Yeah. He's so, you know, so I remember nice. like I, I was at the improv, and I I went up, and, and people were happy to see me, and he storms out of the room maybe Jesus like all pissed God. off and it's just like and at the time he's like hosting the tonight yeah. show and i just didn't fit in with his thing but but i said it's like a it's like a like he's calling me out like 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 i don't bash celebrities too much anymore and yeah i used yeah. to all that's all i used to do and and then he him calling me out is like an old west, you know, and I've got my forty fives <laughs> on the wall. Yeah, yeah. I've retired and he's like, Gold farm, come on out. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, Jerry, let's not do this. Yeah. You're a coward, you yellow belly yeah. sap suck. I go, Jerry, we don't want to do this. Yeah, and yeah. then he gets out there. And this was his big joke was that uh uh so he fires first and it's uh it's like that's why he does that dumb character. That's the only way he can make people laugh. And I just dodge his bullet and I go, uh uh, pull out my gun. Your biggest talent is being Larry David's friend. Boom. Wait, uh, this is on stage? <laughs> no, this, this is what I said publicly. Right, right, right. I was yeah. like, uh, uh, I hear the new season of your show is going to be called uh, Old Comedians in Vans Handing Out Candy in Playgrounds. <laughs> so it's like, it's like, it's like, honest to God, though, here's the thing. Yeah. If you want to pick a fight, don't pick one with me. I'm not right. proud that I can be so bitter and yeah, yeah. asshole -y, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's like, go after... Someone's sweet, you know? Well, also, you that's a part of your creative life that is so far in the past, and you've yeah. done so much Yeah, else. I haven't done that character in 20 years, but right. he hasn't written a new joke in 20 years, so he thinks that, that everybody's stuck in their yeah. old act. Well, it was great for him to call in. I hope it he was calls really in nice. I, and I, you know, I'd like to take this time to offer an knowledge branch. And I'm There's really, this video. It's I'm, one of my... I'm available for B-movie, too. I hate to watch... I hate to go on a tangent here, but... Uh, do you remember when when Kramer when Michael Richards? Yeah, when he, yeah. It's funny you were kind of in the Michael Richards like that kind of energy, right? Right, a yeah, little definitely. bit. So yeah. like Jerry does acknowledge that as like a form of comedy, I guess. Yeah, but I wonder how but, much that was Larry David because they were together true. on Fridays. So true. maybe it was Larry David going, "We got to bring in wacky neighbor." You yeah, know? but there's this video that I keep watching for some reason because it's so it's so cringy. I guess is the word. I don't like that word, but. Um, it's when right after the incident where where Michael Richards comes right, out and right. says the n-word, and Jerry Seinfeld comes on Letterman. Yeah, remember this? And he does this really weird half-ass apology. Well, well, what happens is they beam in Michael Richards <laughs> on like <laughs> via satellite. They did not yeah, beam yeah. it, but they well, like yeah. they had him on Zoom. Basically, they had him on Zoom uh, from from yeah. a television city in California. <laughs> what the hell? And and. <laughs> This is days after the incident, yeah, right? Yeah. It's days after the incident. Uh, Poor Michael Richards looks like a hostage video situation. Right, right, you know? right, He's right. like fully like in the middle of a crisis. And they're, and Dave and Jerry are just trying to give him an opportunity to apologize and be sincere about it. But the f goddamn audience doesn't really know. Yeah, I've it's and, just, it's and like they're, a Streisand effect. Kind yeah, of. they're like, and, they're laughing. Yeah, they think it's, he, because he, it's Kramer. And he's probably doing a little bit of his persona. He's probably oh, right. like got ticks. And I the, think he, can, uh, he can't help it. You yeah, know, yeah. it's a little bit of that. But the audience is chuckling. Oh. And <laughs> Dave, and it's, the, it's the late show with David Letterman. So there isn't really a, a place for a there to format. be a full like an sincerity. Open, <laughs> an open discussion. Yeah. 
And so, uh-huh. so Dave's trying to get through it. Like, oh, so anything, anything else you want to say? Uh, that's terrible. It's a terrible thing that happened. You know, and he's, I, I don't know. I, 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 I don't know what I can do. I, I, uh, I feel terrible. It's rage. You know, and he's just trying. Right, he yeah, hasn't yeah. really processed it. But the chuckling of the audience is one of the most it's uncomfortable creepy. things. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I feel bad for everybody involved. Except they probably shouldn't have handled it the way they handled no, it. No, and I remember that the... We all the, can learn. <laughs> but I think the... Uh, who's the guy who runs the Laugh Factory? Uh, uh, Uncle... Uncle... <laughs> oh, Jamie. Uncle, Uncle, Uncle Laugh. He handled, Jamie Laugh. It, he handled it well because he, he came out and said that there's... Uh, they're going to ban some words from the club. <laughs> 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 Going forward, yeah. <laughs> he wanted to ban certain words. Now, the, the I, word I, I, and the word yeah. are no longer allowed. I, I know, <laughs> look. You said the n word. I say the n word. I, 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 I feel comfortable with me not saying it. Sure. And I, no, I no. had bits where I used it, but I thought I was parodying racism. Right. But right. I dropped those even because because yeah, yeah. I just it's not my job. Yeah, I don't yeah. get to say that. But to say that someone of color wants to say that word, uh, you know, censorship, yeah. that's insane. So, yeah, that guy came out and goes, don't worry, we're going to have censorship now at the comedy club. We've Opportunity got Opportunity for a new police academy, yeah. movie, you know, yeah. like uh, Curse Cops or the something. The comedy the police academy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so he, he's, all, he's the same guy that introduced... Uh, Michael Jackson, to the, that little boy. Oh, he's oh, always, no. on right oh, no. always on the right side of history. Oh no! Always on the right side of history. Somebody told me that I'm banned from the uh, improv, <laughs> I, I, but I don't think it's true. I don't know. I'm not going to find out. But. Well, you know, like when I said the Tonight Show Empire, people just uh, you know when I'm ego surfing on the internet, they always say that I'm like was banned. Yeah, I was blacklisted. Like, I was on next week. Right. <laughs> Like that doesn't really exist. All right, listen, it's 11 o'clock, which means we're going to take a five-minute break so Holy I can crap. pee-pee, Woo. and you'll stick around. Yeah, I want you guys to meet my family. Yeah, can they come? They can be on the show if they want. Hey, oh, we can know. see those. And then we'll take more Zooms, more calls. What's that? Oh, I'm sorry I was talking to Brett about it. We have the police academy, my uh, birthday picture that you were looking for. <laughs> we do. Well, let's tease there that. Is, Don't. There it is. Oh, oh damn no, it. there it is. <laughs> Just blew my big tease. <laughs> right, all right, fine. Let's show it there now. It is, Get it over is. with. All right. It's now, look at birthday. where the loading, look at where the loading circle Whoa. is. Whoa. <laughs> Took forever to get to eighty percent. Did, that, Ma- did Mahoney do that? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's just good framing by the DP. You You're can't right. blame him for center punch. The subject. That's true. That's you a know. good that's, point. Yeah, that's that is that is a punch. great point. That guy, that actor. Do you remember his? What's uh, his name? G W Bailey. So he was great, great. in Mash. Yeah, G W. What a worm that character. I feel like G W is with us. I feel like he's. Um, is he still around? Yeah. I I, I hope. Call he is. in if you're listening. G W. Know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do a health check on the remaining. <laughs> He's listening. Call and the remaining <laughs> police academy cast members. Knock on the door. All, <laughs> all uh, bulletin. All points bulletin. Kazer- we- Kazarinsky fit as a fiddle. Yes, he's in great shape. Tim yeah. and I uh, always hang out together. Was, to this day, he lives in Chicago. No, he, oh, I, nice. I see him. Yeah, all right. We got to wrap up. little bumbling guy. He's always nervous. He, he is this. now. And he was your nemesis in that movie. Yeah, but he's the age he was playing in those movies. <laughs> <We're>, <laughs> That's right. He's finally that age. The first time I met Tim is a scene at an ATM, and I did not know him. And I just yeah. go, I go, uh, uh, they're talking. I go, I'm going to grab you and kiss you. During the like second yeah. take, and he goes okay, and that's one in the movie. I just yeah, grab yeah. him. I didn't know the guy, and I give him a big kiss. And then, <laughs> best and friends forever. Best after kiss, that. yeah, the smartest kiss I've ever done in my life. All right, we'll be back with this Tim. Yeah, <laughs> smooth. That's pretty wow. smooth. That right? was. I that just came to me. Don't worry, <laughs> don't worry, Tim. We're not. We didn't forget about you just because you mentioned a different Tim. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Still, still number one in our still, still number one. Number one. one. We'll be back in you're five. You're the best, Tim. Join you're us the best. at Patreon.com/slash yeah. Office Hours Live to become members. It's a great opportunity, a great value. <laughs> you're the best.